Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel and the WWE 2K24 My GM PLE Survivor Series. We actually made it to week 20. We haven't gone nuts here. Uh, for those that are here watching this on YouTube, we do put it on our uh, gaming YouTube channel every uh, Tuesday and Friday. As you can see, Showstop TV is uh, saying hello to all of you. Uh, for those that are watching on YouTube, we also do record these live after every AEW Dynamite and AEW Collision over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. But yeah, to catch you guys up, we are currently in first place uh, going into week 20 here. However, the only reason we're in first place right now is due to the Hall of Fame trophies. In terms of fans, we are way behind Raw. We're about 60,000 behind Raw. Uh, we are just about 30,000 over uh, ECW. And well, WCW, Bischoff's being Bischoff. But... We did have a few things come up here, but oh, let me let me get this started here so we can uh, show you exactly what's going on here. So, all right. So let me. Uh, I forgot to turn the volume on. So there you go. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we got Trixie Gambit schedule a match for, with Fallon Henley in the next three weeks. That we might do tonight. Dominic demanded he win his match tonight. So, Dom's been eating L's. I've been getting title shots and he's been eating L's. He's got two level four rivalries on him. One single and one tag team. Uh, Valhalla's done tonight. Because, well, frankly, she wanted more money than anybody else on the roster. So, I said to hell with you. Uh, Shaw, this guy came into our channel. He popped in here 10 weeks ago, or eight weeks ago. Said he'll work for free. There's no problems whatsoever uh, coming in and just let, letting our talent show through. He is now my WWE champion because he beat Gunther in a dramatic upset. And then, yeah, everything else is just stuff that's noted, right? So, all right, so let's book this show. First things first, we got to get make sure. Yeah, I already did that last time we were here. We got the PLE boost, the Shaw Stopper. So our opening match. Let's set this up first. We're gonna have Gunther versus Shaw. We're gonna have this in a cage. Cause this is our finale. Oh, we, we've been going over puns for a while here, so. All right, there we go. There's our first match. Our main event is going to be a tag team cage match because we got a rivalry to finish here. Dominic Mysterio, Baron Corbin versus Stax Lorenzo and Clint McDougal. I got two guys that are injured, so they're going to... McDougal, I'll try and save, but I... I at this point i'm just like we got five weeks to go we need we need work well yeah that's our main event we're gonna get injuries i i, I will say this right now we will get injuries on this show i i haven't dealt with injuries yet but we're gonna get some here uh another one we're gonna do is blair versus becky What's the p tables matches the PLB bows? I will use that with someone else. We got the disarmer. What's the morale like with both of these? One's dead smiling. One's not really happy a whole lot. So. Let's do a submission match with these two. What's the commissioner goal? 
Well, Jesus. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Trips. You want to tell me to do something? All right. We'll do it. Uh, Trixie wanted to have a match with Fallon Henley. Mike is going for the AEW murder angle. Exactly. The end of the show. Absolutely murder. They could sit off for five. Honestly, most of the guys that are on there, they could sit off for a while anyway. I will make this a tables match just to get that bonus. And we need to do one more match here. So let's see who else is available. Stamina wise. All right, we got Scarlet. We got Cora. We got. Huh. Maybe. Do we do the Intercontinental Championship match? Or do we try... You know what? Maybe we'll do... No, Billy's... No, that's right. We'll do this. Rollins are dragging off Argus triple... You know what? I'm going to go with that. Title online. Let's get some rivalries going. Let's see if we get that title where we want it. Is there any special? Who? Do I want to blow all my money, chat? Do I want to blow all my money? Do we want a backstage brawl? We haven't done one yet. The cost is a bit too steep. Yeah, it's 75000 for this. We will have a backstage brawl during the uh, during the final PLE. Save it for Mania. Yeah, because at Mania, it's free because I got the DBRC card. So I think that's going to be our card. Open with the steel cage match. Tables match just to get the PLE bonus. Last man standing most to get the trips bonus. Title match because I want that title off Argus. Because if... It's going to be crazy if we try and do this. But if we could get that title off Argus and then have Argus versus Shaw going into Mania, that would be nuts. And yeah, this one here. I will give a pre-match physio to McDougal. Other than that, Dom was bitching too much to me, so. Let's do an advertising promo. Non-title for Bex? Oh, good point, good point, good point. We can still put the title on, because if... I, I do want to blow off this rivalry eventually. Like I said... Jane versus uh, Becky is exactly what I want to do at Mania. I just hope it's for the title. But you know what? Why not? Let's just... Let's not get stupid here. Let's just throw them all out there. Because I think the only title we're not defending here are the women's tag. Which technically we could do here. Which is going to suck for ratings, but. You know what? We'll just have it as a. Uh... Yeah, there we go. That'll work. All titles on the line tonight. Let's go. Steel cage match. Trent, Sean, Gunther. Trixie and Fallon. Trixie wanted a match with Fallon, so we got that arranged. We got Davenport and Lynch, last woman standing. 
Intercontinental title on the line, and then our main event is the Steel Cage Tag Team Match. All right, let's book some let's book some promos here. Who who needs to put themselves over here? Post Malone, let's see if you could actually do it this time. Uh, let's do an advertising promo. I almost think I should do a training promo with her, but uh, make me some money out the door. Is there anybody close to leveling up here? That's the question I have. Yeah, I think we'll do some training for Scarlet here. And then maybe do a charity promo. Give Carmel, sure, we'll do that. Think we got it. All the matches that we need. And power cards, what do we got? Um, I'd love to take this one. But uh, 55 grand is a little much for it. And then I know, guys, I got way too many of those already. Let's uh, pre-match physio. Want to give that to Clint. Um. <laughs> no, let's not use that yet here. Why not? I got two of these cards. Yeah, let's do it on the champ here. Let's uh, let's just make sure. Just want to start using cards because you don't get to keep them for the next uh, like the next season that's coming up. We only got five weeks left, so I gotta start. I'll use this one next week when we're down to. I don't really care about that. We we don't need that right now. Actually, uh, do we use this? Do we waste this now or do we use it later? That's already a great rivalry. So, no, I think we're going to leave it. Veto Star, fixed match. We could use the fixed match in the main event, but that will dumb. I think we got it. All right, let's see here. So we got our opener. We got our tag team tables match. Last man standing women's match. Normal match for the triple threats considered the weird match. Steel cage main event. I think we're good. Let's go crazy, folks. So being week 20, I do believe we're going to have to check everybody else's uh, shows before we check out ours. So let's take a look. No, we do ours first. Okay. So for anybody new here wanting to check things out, Trent Shaw came out of nowhere and won the WWE Championship over Gunther. Gunther's been pissed ever since. This show is absolutely nuts. If, if you've been here... This card is absolutely stacked to the nines. Let, let, let's just get into it. We can talk to it as we go here. So yeah, so... Trent Shaw showed up here. Just wanted a chance. Just...
Always great to have Samantha Irvin on the call here. And uh, yeah, we... War Games is not an option or else we would have had that. The branded PLE match is a tables match. Go figure, right? You would think that a, at least they would have put uh, the cage match as the preferred match on this. So we are not playing any music thanks to uh, our favorite uh, our, our favorite YouTube channels, you know, or overlords not allowing us to do it. I might do it for Mania just to test it. I could always cut it out later if I need to. There's a great uh, filter on YouTube now that allows you to cut the music out that's not, that's copyright cop, uh, copyright killed. Cause I've been watching uh, PJC plays game streams. Another member of the Backbreaker Gaming channel. He's been playing music. They haven't had a problem. Same with Jules. So we'll, we'll see how things go. Well, yeah, Gunther been my champion since the beginning of season one, basically until Trent Shaw came in and said, nope, this is mine. Yoink. This is our cruiserweight, Trent Shaw. He is listed as a cruiserweight. I still cannot figure out how that is possible. Well, yeah, we'll keep him on Somania. We'll see. Maybe we could do a thing with him and Argus. Because it would really suck to not get him for the championship mat for... Like, win or lose, we'll figure something out. It would just be really cool to see the impossible happen. Well, let's go down to Samantha Irvin for the introduction of both competitors. For a couple minutes. Guter right, right. doesn't want to touch it. He knows the rules. You do not touch it until you actually win it. Once again, everybody, thank you for uh, stopping by here. I truly do appreciate having you here. And here we go. Gunther not wasted any time here. Trent missing on that dive. Looked like he was going for a disaster kick and Gunther already tried to get out of the cage. Yeah, Gunther is definitely coming out pissed. What a power bomb. Now Trent's gonna try and get out. There is some sense of, you know, they want Trent wants to keep this title no matter what. Oh, here we go. Now I mean a one count. I do find on the covers it takes extra long to get there. Butterfly suplex.
Those Muay Thai knees there. This might be the end of the dream. In the beginning of Trent Shaw's nightmare. Now, if I do remember right, oh my god, what the hell is Shaw doing? A handspring Tiaras? Oh, I thought Gunther was going to try to climb out and he's that far behind. Uh-oh, Shaw's busted open. You don't think he looks the part? I don't think so. I, I, I'm i always a believer in the X Division. Where it was not about weight limits, it was about no limits. Nice German suplex by the Austrian. I really do hope that Vienna does get a PLE out of that. Out of this big tour that they did. Vienna deserves one. A lot of places deserve one. It's all about who's going to pay for it, right? Like apparently right now, Milwaukee's looking to pay to get money in the bank next year. But I was listening to a podcast uh, this week, uh, Maguire on Wrestling, and they were talking about the ticket prices for All Out in Chicago. It was actually cheaper for people in Chicago to actually go watch the show live than it was to buy the PLE. Oh my God, Sean's going to do it. Sean's getting to the top. Gunther, you got to get up there. He's halfway out. Oh no. Oh no, Gunther's gonna bring him in the hard way. Oh, that's gonna suck. Uh oh, the rage is on. Oh my god! Sean just throwing out the hurricane rod out of nowhere, I love it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, snapmare takeover into the drop kick to the back of the head. Kick to the back. Uh oh, what do we got going? Oh my God! Flipping blockbuster. Two, and just a one count. Shaw can't believe it. Hell, I can't believe it. Oh, and here comes Gunther. Oh, here we go. Power bomb, no mercy. Let's go. And Shaw kicks out at one. All right. This crowd is damn right they're not worthy. Shaw fired up with the rights. This is an absolutely awesome match. German into the ropes. And this is only our opening contest here. Oh, and Shaw's at the top. Shaw's gonna get to the top. Is he gonna have enough to get over? Oh my God. Oh my God. He's gonna do it. He's gonna pull off the dream. The dream is alive. It is the Shaw Spec. Spectacular! And the champion 
is going to retain. Star match on here. Let's go. Let's go. Our first five star match. I never thought I'd see the day where Gunter gets defeated like that. Wow. Rivalry complete. Oh, it's automatic on cage matches, so. Valhalla, I don't care how much popularity you lose, you're leaving anyway. You got me some good money there, so. So this match here, you get that for free too, yeah. Like, I wonder what Trent's, well, here's the thing with Shaw, if he asks for anything stupid for money, I'm pulling one of the contract cards on him to hell with it. I'm paying him the same amount I did before. Which is nothing. <laughs> All right. So this match here, Trixie Gambit asked for a match against Fallon Henley. Well, to hell with it. Let's get all the titles on the line here tonight. So we'll put the women's tag titles up against Trixie Gambit and Pretty Ruthless. Since Pretty Ruthless is losing her tag partner Valhalla, Maybe we could do something here with it. So let's check things out. And this will be a tables match because the branded match for this PLE, don't ask me, is the tables match. So basically just putting the two jobbers down here. The enhancement talent. They're getting their, their once in a million lifetime shot. Maybe, maybe we'll get lightning striking twice. The one thing I can say right now is we don't have to worry about star ratings for this match because no matter what it is, it won't be as good as our first match. It could be even. I would love it for it to be even, but... So yeah, Ruthless we just brought in because we need to do a couple promos, but this is the this is the point right now in this in this last little bit here where I don't mind spending a few extra dollars to pick up a, some special talent for because the contracts are only going to be five weeks long, right? Once we get to that PLE WrestleMania, we're actually going to have to redraft a whole brand new roster, so. We will be doing that following. And from Chelsea, Michigan, one half of the women's tag team champions, Fallon Henley. Yeah, and Fallon ended up winning these titles off a. Uh, Fallon and Billy actually won them off of uh, Scarlett and J JC Jane. Which that was a hell of a rivalry there. I have to say, like, as much as we didn't expect a lot out of this, this has actually turned into a real exciting situation overall. Like, just the way the matches have been working out and whatnot. I know last year that things weren't as uh, up and down as they are here.
So Billy just, I, I think we picked her up late. Late in the first round, I do believe. Uh, or the first cycle here, right around week four, week five. I couldn't remember. We did need to pick up some more female wrestlers and... It's going to be interesting to see what they offer for trades. So yeah, this is the tables match. So typically when you do tag team tables matches, they do go a little quicker. That's why I always like to keep either the tornado or the tables match stipulation in. Because regular tags, they end up just taking forever. Nice bulldog by Henley. Table already in the rig. There is no fooling around here. Oh. I hate how these tables just get tossed away so easily there. Trixie doing some work here. So is Ruthless going to set up the table? Yep, table's all set up, ready to go. Henley could win this quickly. Nope. Could have just... Oh, damn it. Fallon. Not supposed to keep the table over. You're supposed to use it. Missed. Oh, this might go quick. Though those who set up the table has tendency to go through it. Absolutely. It's honestly been a bit of a crapshoot here. Yeah, if everything goes well, we from oh Trixie. Oh my god, Trixie's gonna do it! Trixie's gonna do it! Oh my oh so close. And Billy could have put her through the table too. I thought we were gonna get new tag chips. That would have been a little bit insane, but no, here we go. There we go, champs retained. I honestly didn't expect much of this, but... Damn, what a match. Nice little match. Get everybody over. Let's see. Got to have that match catch your breath. Absolutely. I'd like a nice three. Yeah. Uh, like I said, a nice three will do it. No rivalry, please. We don't need one. There you go. Nice three. No rivalry needed. Finally, Post Below gets himself over a little bit. All right, so uh, Mr. Hunter Hearst Helmsley wanted a uh, last man standing match on the card. Becky said, why the hell not? This is a level three feud. I'm hoping to get it to a level four. So we can use, well, we can maybe do, we could do cage matches every week going into WrestleMania if we really want to here. But let's see how uh, this is going to line up because... 
Yeah, this is going to be fun. Blair was a hell of a pickup. It was... Uh, the following contest uh, is a last woman standing match. And it is for the WWE Women's Championship. As you see the challenger come out. So, Blair Davenport, we actually picked her up la at the end of last, uh, the last PLE during the trades, trade window. We got Blair and uh, Valhalla for MVP. For me, that was, I, I could not, I could not complain about it. It was absolutely awesome. Blair's been great for me. MVP was good for while he was here, but he just couldn't get a good rivalry started. So I, I took Zodiac's advice because he was, I wasn't sure about pulling the trigger on it. We held off on two trades and this is the trade we got. We're going to end up losing Valhalla today, which great talent, but I'm not paying that much for her. But now we got Blair, which it Blair, which If she gets the title, maybe I find a way to get Fallon up there, or maybe I turn Scarlet Face, or... We still got one more match here between these two to finish it off. Because this should take it to a level four, or it's going to finish the rivalry, one or the other. Now, Becky has been on and off with this... Becky's been the hardest one for me to book right now because, well, she got screwed over in the uh, on the first PLE because Paul Heyman plays a card where no champions could be crowned or no champions could participate, sorry. So the one thing you have to remember here when you're booking this for next time, going into that first PLE, all your rivalries need to be non-title. If you don't have champions with a title, if you don't have uh, ta champions associated with a title, do not book those titles yet. Book them at the pay-per-view. And then that card is useless. Well, once again, let's go down to Samantha Irvin for the introductions. So best case scenario for me here is actually a title change because the stipulation for this in terms of ramifications is a morale change for both people. Up for the winner, down for the loser. Well, Becky's in a great freaking mood right now because I've given her everything she needed. Uh, Blair is even right now, so she'll start being angry at this. Blair going to work on Becky. So what's, oh, Blair's getting a chair already. But I will try to be a little bit smarter on my uh, booking as I go into next, the next season two in terms of who I book. Uh. 
Like, obviously, if Shaw keeps the title till Mania, I'd have to worry about the men's title. We'll have an open season on that. Because, unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to keep free agents. You can only keep your roster players intact. Cameraman! Oh, Blair's hurting pretty good. Kendall stick to the head, Jesus. That is not pretty. But I feel it's pretty important. Oh. Did you watch the season finale? Can it, can it, I, I'll be honest, I could care less about the Amazing Race. I know it's on right before Dynamite. I was watching WNBA before it was on, before it was on there, so. I'm not a big fan of reality shows. I know wrestling's one big reality show, but. Thought it was cool because it was an Edmonton egg. Good for him. It's been, uh, I, I do appreciate all the work that they had to do. Like, what, two weeks ago that the, the Amazing Race Canada had uh, Border City Wrestling involved? Which wrestler was the role? Was that Rick Sto uh, Stone Rockwell? Because I know he was going at it. Jesus! Oh, Jesus. Blair just wanted to reset the counter old way. Steal a finisher. That's an insult right there. No way. Blair's going to mop up the floor with her? No way. All right, well, I'll put nine. Some chick who wrestles from Edmonton, both it. Okay. I'd have to look. No, good for them. I, I hope it is successful for them, but. At least they're enraged to, you know, finish this off here, but. No, respect to everybody that does them. I'm just not interested in them. Because a lot of them just seem so fake. All right, rest start counting. Like Survivor, yeah, like. If it isn't exciting enough, they sort of change the stipulations and manipulate things. Like, I think there is some basis of realness to it, but. Becky back up at four, okay. Oh, she should go over to Kindle Stick. Oh, what a crack. Oh, Blair's down. No, I have enough dealing with wrestling to try and keep up with drama on my TV. Both inside and outside the ring, so... Okay, you can count now.
Are we going to get a new champ here? No, not yet. Nice snap suplex. Don't win it off a snap suplex. Well, wrestling seems to have a lot of these extra drama filled escapades. Oh, Russ counting faster now. Dragon screw leg whip. Becky's got to find something to change the tide here. This isn't going to keep her down. It better not. No way. No, that's right. You're, you're not losing to a dragon screw leg whip. Give her a finisher. Give her a finisher. There you go. If you're going to win it, win it with a finisher. That'll get you an extra bonus. I think that's going to do it. No. Oh my goodness. Headlock takeover, elbow. No, 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 no. There you go, she's up and she's, oh, she missed. Oh, and Blair missed the one shot she needed. Lose out of flying nothing, that would suck. But they're looking at every move now. Blair, you gotta hit a finisher. That'll work. It's not a finisher, but... Becky up at four, okay, that... Armbar takeover. Into the disarmer. She can't be down. Nice, Shadding Wizard. There you go, the slide drop kick. Blair's got this if she keeps on it. She just needs to hit a finisher. That's what she needs. On a throw over the top. Once again, another flag, nothing will cost her. Now into the disarmer. Unfortunately, the automatic camera view sucks right there. Why did you break the count? All right, AI glitch. Oh, back up at six. Is Becky going to do a dive? Yep. 
High risk move. This might be it for Blair. No, back up at six. Oh, here we go. Come dive at me now. Oh, come on, let's go. I want to see this. You want to talk about finishing someone off? Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> fucking arrow into the stairs. She gets up from this. I... She's letting her up. Oh, there we go. Hit the finisher. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. This is awesome. Why is she letting her up? She must have thought she was getting up. All right. Have a bit of a glitch out here, but. We have a new WWE Women's Champion. Blair Davenport has beaten the unbeatable. Here is your winner and the new WWE Women's Champion. Blair is Becky Davenport. dead? Maybe. This is going to be a... I want to see the score on this. If that rivalry hasn't gone to a level four, I will be shocked. But this works out perfect for me because nobody's really upset now. Avalanche Al Air Falcon Arrow from the steps, absolutely. Force it finish the rivalry. Okay, I will pivot from that. I did not expect that to finish there, but that's okay. We will move on from that. I forgot once it hits level three, there is a possibility you can finish a rivalry. So now I have to book Blair as the champion. A four-star finish is a good finish. Absolutely. Like, this card has gone about as well as I expected. So Scarlet gets seven in-ring promo. Scarlet? I might flip Scarlet and use her against Blair right now. Thinking that's maybe where we go out of this. All right, so this one here, I really want to get that title off Argus in every way possible. And Ilya and Rollins have a level one rivalry already, so. And a special specialist rivalry is going to suck. This is going to be nuts. Well, this is just a regular match, so. But because it's a triple threat, anything goes, right? <laughs> this has just been a bonkers show. Like, we've... I'll admit, we've had some weeks here where some of these matches have been complete duds. But tonight, like, everything's lining up. Absolute everything's lining up. But once again, everybody, thank you for being here, whether you're catching it live or you're catching it on uh, YouTube, on VOD. This has to be one of my favorite... Favorite cards ever. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds. Samantha Irvin really get that voice up on that one. Ilya Dragunov! 
I think one of the best things I did was switch Dragon off to heal. So this probably will probably be one of my uh, my WrestleMania matches if I can book it right. I will switch one of these guys over to something just so it's not specialist versus specialist. Ilya Dick Dragonov. Thought that was Finn. That evil smile. Also, uh, Seth does get his own pyro. And by the way, this match will not get the proper star rating because it's two heels and a face. I just realized that now. If I was smart, I would have done a four-way here and just threw somebody in there. And introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. I just realized that as he's coming out, I'm like, oh yeah, two heels in a face isn't what we want for uh, for triple threats in WWE 2K. Even though it happens, just watch last week they had Kevin Owens take it on uh, Theory and uh, Waller in Edmonton. And it turned out to be entertaining as hell. And now we get the champion. Now Argus we picked up. And introducing the champion from another time. Weighing in at 267 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Argus the Great. Now Argus uh, we had originally in season one. Uh, we did pick him up as a free agent just over five weeks ago. We just picked up his option for the rest of the year. I want to see what we could do with this match. Uh, if we can get that title off Argus, I want to see if we can do uh, Trent Shaw versus Argus and see if we can push both these guys. Then, of course, Rollins and uh, Dragunov would be a hell of a few going forward. I also have to worry about the trade window coming up after these matches tonight. And I will say this. If Dom loses, I am sending his ass on a slow ride to China. I don't care if I give him away. He told me I had to win. he had to win or else. Screw him. I'm not using that fixed card. This referee's getting a lot of work tonight. All right, here we go. But actually having two heels in a face to produce a lower score might not be the worst thing in the world here because we do have to make sure that this match is lower than the tag title match. Which I do think the tag title match has a possibility to be five stars as well. See, one thing I'd like to prove in uh, WWE 2K25 is instead of having uh, not just heel and face to have a tweener, having two tweeners giving you a bad score, but 
giving a tweener and a heel and a tweener and a face. That actually would do a lot. I love that Dragunov had a kendo stick in his hand and he dropped it to boot Rollins in the back of the head. Uh, Crowder, by the way, great stream this afternoon. I was actually lurking there as you were running along here. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, PJC plays games. We'll be having uh, this back. Oh, God. Referee down. Uh, his streams are going to be up starting this Saturday with his latest uh, Pokemon trading card game stream that he's had. But uh, as for Dynamite tonight, it was absolutely... For what little they actually had on the card, they actually announced quite a lot. Like, uh, we had Jet. Let's go, Drag King. You see, I carried my fact. Argus, Argus the Great. He is currently our Intercontinental Champion. I guess we'll get to Dynamite in a second, but so far tonight, this is our semi main event. So far tonight, Trent Shaw has beaten Gunther in a cage to uh, retain the WWE Men's Championship. Billy Slugger, Fallon Henley defeated uh, Pretty Ruthless and Trixie Gambit in a uh, tables match to successfully defend the t women's tag titles. Blair Davenport is our new WWE Women's Champion defeating Becky Lynch in a last woman standing match. This match here is for our tag team, or sorry, our Intercontinental Championship. And our main event in a steel cage will be Dominic Mysterio and Baron Corbin against the team of Stax Lorenzo and our favorite mall cop, Clint McDougal. But as for Dynamite tonight, they formally announced that we're getting... It takes six degrees of separation to understand why, but we're getting Darby and Mox for the... Uh, for Darby's shot at Danielson rather than having the title match. And that's because we are now getting Nigel McGuinness versus Brian Danielson at... Uh, at Grand Slam coming up on the 25th. We're also going to get Aussie Open, the team of Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher taking on the Bucks at Grand Slam, who they won a Casino Gauntlet match tonight. We also had Jack Perry defend the TNT Championship against Leo Rush. Oh my God, Rollins is gonna, oh, no, just a one count. Uh, we also got Mariah May defeating Queen Aminata and a very spirited and a very smooth uh, women's eliminator match. And Ricochet had a lot better match tonight against uh, uh, Ricochet had a lot better match tonight against Hep Sammy Guevara. Argus on the stomp. Uh-oh. Now oh, Dragonov's going to break it up. Uh, uh, Mark Davis, he actually broke his wrist in that match with uh, Ozzy Open against uh, Cole and MJF. So he's still on the road to recovery. He should be back soon. And Argus just says nope to all that. Sorry, I was just getting rid of hiccups there. Tria Wall, this is not good.
We have between Dynamite tonight and this card actually, if you get a chance to watch it again for coming in earlier, this is probably the, this might be my best booked card I've ever had. Outside of WrestleMania, which they give you five stars for everything. Well, there's Torpedo, Torpedo, Torpedo Moscow. Blah, 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 blah. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. Forearm to the back of the head. Weapons all over the place. High knee. Is that going to be enough? That is going to be enough. Rollins wins the title with a high knee. Everything's coming up roses tonight. Because Rollins and Dragunov, to me, that is a feud that will absolutely blow the roof off this place. I do need, like I said, I do need the chest to roll for one of the two guys. That's not a big deal. I'll do that. I might even do that next week. Two and a half. All right. Rivalry's level two. Not a whole lot to it, but we definitely did it here, so. Absolutely awesome there. New champ, mission accomplished. All right, so our main event has to get better than two and a half, which I think will be pretty easy. Carmelo Hayes getting us 6,000 fans. I love it. All right, our main event. So there's two parts to this. One, these guys have been fighting for about two months. Number two, Dom comes into my office last, well, beginning of this week and says, no matter what match I'm in next, I need to win that match. No matter what, I demand to win that match. So he wants me to play the, uh, the power card. Hell no. If Dom loses this, I'm punting his ass out of here. I'm trading him somewhere useful. So, like the idea of the mob, well, he's a mall cop. The mobster with the cop, that actually is a, I didn't even think about that. That is pretty ingenious. But yeah, let's get into this here. This has been a fun rivalry going on for better part of two months. I know that Dom and uh, McDougal have a rivalry themselves separately. If Dom wins this match, I'll... Whatever. I got a feeling he's going to be injured after this anyway. He was only at 26. I would like to see if I could ma manage to get some real tag teams put together here and maybe try to uh, use some of my latter dra later draft picks to reunite combinations and whatnot to see if we can get the group graphics. this crowd talking to Dom so much well yeah this is our uh, this is our main event this week our PLE Survivor Series uh, we will be back on Saturday with week 21 
the follow. Get us a get us set up for our next set of matches. Already got some ideas rolling through my head about which way we're gonna go here. I think next week we might actually pull the trigger on uh, JC Jane and Billy Slugger in the cage to finish that rivalry off. Because I would like to get JC and. Uh, oh, good old Baron. I can't believe he's gotten more run here than. Uh, Where's his pyro? And from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! He's got more run here than he does on TV ever. Must be that affiliation with the Chiefs all the time. But yeah, the... I have to figure out who I want to put up against Davenport because really we don't have a lot of faces that can fake. She is a specialist, so I can pretty much put any face against her. I'd like to put Fallon there, but Fallon's got, got the tag titles and I don't like having dual champions. I might even break down and turn Scarlet face and do it that way. Scarlet's the ultimate one that I like. I put a lot of work into her, so. And representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Channing Stacks Lorenzo! I remember when we first booked this team together. It was more the fact that I just need to get two teams together and... They almost felt like they would work well together, but... If you ever take a trip down to do the side ball. Island, New York, weighing in at 240 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Clint McDougall. Hop down to the food court. You're going to spend some hard time. Spill your train. You're going to spend some hard time. Clint McDougal keep you in line. You pick up all your dishes or you're serving hard time. <laughs> if you ever take a trip down the Kingsway Garden Mall. Actually, that was one of our better malls here in town. I'm almost going to have to start. What's that belt buckle? That belt buckle's a little low for you, my friend. So yeah, we opened with a cage match. We'll close with a cage match. I didn't realize other matches could finish rivalries. I think there only been a couple times. Once with a true stress so I've got signing, which was nuts. That used to be my, uh, like when we come into town from Redwater, that was the mall we usually hit. That, uh, that or Londonderry. Back when those malls actually had stuff in them. But yeah, my college times, I was at Kingsway almost every day. Hitting up the, there was an arcade there. One of the first barcades in Edmonton. I knew, I knew a couple of the managers, so I would be there till like, we'd have class at eight o'clock. I'd be there till seven. We'd be playing Goldeneye. 
Stack's already getting out. Hey, Pish. Hope you're doing well here. We're just sitting our main event here of uh, 2K24 Survivor Series. Probably one of the best cards I've ever booked here. We've only had one real... Our, our lowest match is two and a half right now. The rest of it has just been absolutely insanely good. But I hope you're doing well. Stacks and Clint just wear it out these two. It's hilarious. But Clint's going to be in there all by himself at this point. It's the only thing that sucks about this right now. Nice neck breaker. All right, we're down to two, one on two. So Dom had 26 stamina going into this. He's coming out injured. Clint came out at 21. I give him a pre-match physio, so he might either be sitting a while or he's gonna be damaged all to hell. Okay, get Corbett out. We'll do a one-on-one. -on -one. These two are the ones that actually have the rivalry with each other. Clint, get up. Clint, your buddy Dom Dom is there. Grab him. There you go, a boy. All right, we're down to one on one. These two have been going at it forever here. Clint, get up. Get up. This is going to be horrifically quick. Wow. I guess both Dom and... Uh, that was horrendously quick. Our opening match was like match of the year, and this one was like... live with the new champs wonder how many how these guys are hurt Dom's gonna be hurt five weeks oh no I'm whatever excuse me it's probably gonna say injury on the next screen but four and a half stars for that I'm not going to argue. I'm going to run. Let's see what he got for it. There's going to be an injury on the next screen. Has to be. Meltzer's definitely having a day. No injury. I'm going to have to see what's left for stamina, but no injury. Rivalry complete. Four and a half star match. Best booked card ever I want to see these guys pull up better cards than this let's go see what everybody else has got opening match Iron Man match between Sammy Vortex and Lita for the women's championship alright Meltzer somebody paid you off Nakamura, okay, okay, promo. Natalia and Shayna Baszler versus Bailey and Daniel Wallace in a just a regular match, okay, for the tag titles. 
Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Natalia. <laughs> There is no God-given way I should be able to say that I don't have any injuries. And she's out till mania. Thank you for that, Zodiac. That's hilarious. Okay. Call out. That's already level four, so I don't know what they're doing. Robert Roode and Braun Breaker versus R-Truth and Tommaso Ciampa for the tag titles on the line. Roode and Breaker retain. This one it is bad, but still out for two weeks. Not the best. Why are you calling him out when it's a level four rivalry? You're calling him out twice. Idiot. An iron, a second Iron Man match between Charlotte Flair and Cam Carmella must have been a story of anything you could do, I could do better. And Charlotte Flair's on Raw? When did they pick her up? All right, three star match there. Meechin puts herself over decently. Main event, TLC match with Otis in it. Stardust with a run-in from Kit Wilson on Otis. Well, this definitely had some interjections here. Otis is your new champion in a four-star match. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. Next. Next. Opening match, triple threat. Eddie Guerrero, Drew McIntyre, and Paragon J. Pierce. I guess they need it for the, the rivalry part, so. With the U.S. title on the line, McIntyre retains. Meltzer had had some good stuff. Yeah. Raw paid him off. That's all I can say. China calls out Tiff. All right, women's champ calling out uh, tag champ. That's always smart. Tag team match. Karen Cross and Omos taking up Bukhati and Adrian Buck. No titles on the line because half his champions are injured. Three-star match, okay. GG, uh, that sucks. Alexa Bliss, Raquel Rodriguez. Alexa's back and she's not in the she's not having a tag title match. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Alexa's been out for four weeks, right? Oh, I guess they want to blow that rivalry off. That makes sense. Captain Grog. That's already a level four rivalry, so that didn't matter. So for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Randy Orton take it on our favorite, Tim Burr. One, two, Orton retains in a three-star match. <laughs> Nothing in the next promo segment. Biggie and Johnny Gargano challenging Finn Balor and Elton Prince. All right. Tag title match. Champs retain. Four star man. All right. So everybody's doing okay, I guess. Damian Priest and Sheamus for the TV title. Just a regular match. Sheamus is your new champion. Four stars. All right. They got Liv Morgan on the women. Oh, God. They are loading up the women on uh, ECW for that performance boost. Jody Garcia taking on Indy Hartwell. This is going to be a nothing match. That's it. Bring it. Like I said. Isla Dawn calling out Ronda Rousey. Okay, that was a smart move. That, that probably should have been the match, but I digress. 
One half of your tag champs, Julius Creed, taking on the Honky Tonk Man. No, wait. No, that's right, yeah. One, two, ring that bell. Honky Tonk Man wins in a four-star match. This feud has been in a level four for eight weeks. Like, damn, finish it already. Angel Garza versus Tyler Bate. The other half of the tag champs. One, two, that's three. Bell. Angel Garza wins in a three-star match to finish that rivalry. MVP getting some training in. Glide is being put to well use by ECW. And our main event. Oh, Sheamus is the heavyweight champion. This is for the TV title. Please be Briggs. 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 Yes! Briggs got the title. I don't care. ECW needs some, you know, good luck here. Four and a half stars there. New TV champion. More importantly, Logan Paul is no longer champion. Always a great thing. Amazing booking. So rivalry complete. Rivalry complete. Level two rivalry grew there. Rivalry complete. I want to see this. Clint McDougal is at four stamina. Four. Four. Dom's at 10, which that befuddles me for the fact that he can have 10 stamina and he was only like three points ahead of McDougal. Either way, all four of these guys need a break, to say the least. All right, let's... No injuries, though. I am... Some of these guys are going to need some time off, though. Amazing bookie here as well. Level 3 feud. Level 2 feud. Level 4 feud. Natalia's out for a month. And then good booking, all right. Level three, level one, level four, level one, done. And ECW gets amazing booking as well. This is amazing booking just for this, straight up. Rivalry complete, rivalry complete, level four. No rivalry, that, that was supposed to be a level three though. All right. Rivalry complete. Welcome to the welcome to the team, Liv. There you go. All right. So now the important part. Let's see our report. Let's see our final reports here. What twenty four? We've never gotten a score that high before. Four hundred and fifty seven. Folks, we got some work to do here. Uh. 39, 3.9 million fans. We're going to get that 4 million fan mark before the end. So we should be able to get another Hall of Fame badge here. Pretty and Trixie work well as a team. Yeah, that's great. Welcome to your job, Reville. All right, let's see what the other ones have. Raw. 3942. So we gained 10,000 on them this week. With the same score. Uh, 479. So they got some money too. Dang it. 120. So they got 130 for fans. WCW is almost not a thought now. 116 for ECW. That's a low score. And now even ECW's falling behind. It's turning out to be close to a two-horse race here. And they're low on money, too. So another pre-match physio to help me out. I appreciate that. Okay, so going into...
Raw doesn't have a women's champion now? For the females? I thought they did. Or was that another one of those injuries that's out forever? But yeah, work... 600000 in the bank is another... Another power card we could get. But, you know, I could keep looking at this staring at... We, this is our most successful week. Let's see how these other GMs want to screw this up. Because in order to save this, we do have to fast forward to the next week here. Which is going to include our power card as well as the trades that are the trade window that's opening up. So let's go take a look. So ECW wants to. Hold on. Sheamus and Priest for Post Malone and Trent Shaw. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that is going to kill our contracts. No. He's basically getting ready for next year at this, bait, this point. I want to see what WCW has got to say. They want to cash too. They're going to give me three grand for Post Malone. I've already put him. He's already at 21 popularity. He's growing every day. Hell no. This is just because I hate Bischoff. What's Raw got for me? Kit Wilson for Baron and Post. And he wants to give me cash. So 57. The money's about even. But Kit Wilson's going to do absolutely nothing for me. Like. Are these guys dumb? All right, let's see what they got that I could use here. I want to see... I want to see if they would sort by morale. Because I want to see if they got anybody that's really pissed off. Anybody really angry on my side right now? Not really. You know what? I don't I think it's not even worth it. Let's just see if there's anything else that's like... I want to see how much he paid for Charlotte, though. Thirty-five, that's it? Now I got contracts that could extend her. I think I should go for Flair. Or just st stick with what I have and go for some free agents. Nah, you know what? Let's not let's not get stupid. We got a good roster. Let's see what the shakeup is. Well, we'll see. I, I do need to set up some rivalries here. I might need a I need a I might need a couple free agents. We'll see. 
So we're gonna go to Char. Pff, we're gonna go to Charlotte. That's great. You want a match on this show? Absolutely. All right, Dom. What you got? Do I want to? All right. Dom pissed me off. Do I want to give him a? Do I want to give him a spa card with a one week break, or do I want to give him two weeks off? We are. You know what? I'm probably going to give him the two weeks off. I'll give the the hell spa card to uh, McDougal because when they come back that third night. I do and I don't. Do I need those titles defended that often? Those next two weeks, there aren't going to be that much going on. I think I can work around this. But I need to get him healthy because he's only a 10. So, if anything, if I got some extra power cards, I could load them up that way. Uh, I know, but I, yeah, I do need him back as a champ. Oh, this is tough. You know what? Let's do the let's do the spa here. Oh good, he'll take it. I like that. Wow. Decrease the ticket price of all arenas by 10%, but increase the arena capacity by 40%. I, I think this is a bit of a no-brainer here. Because the popularity thing I could work on later. That's not a big deal. Talent scouts, I've never used up any. I think this is the one to use and. This is how we're going to get our fans back. Yeah, I think so. That's a win. Do not book your most popular fighter this week. So who's my most popular fighter? So I don't use Cora Jade this week. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Yeah, I think this week we're going to... Uh... Yeah, I think we got everything lined up here. Let... I want to see what logistic they got for us. So we could add commercial ads. <laughs> Quasi 81, thank you for joining the players pit. Uh, enjoy the food, enjoy the snacks. Uh, watch out for the punch because I think it got spiked. Uh, we're going to have to discuss this next week whether we're going to get the commercial ads. I really would like to save my money for the stadium and the eight pieces here. If we could get eight pieces for, for Mania. I think we'd be in a good spot here, but that's all stuff we could deal with next week here. Let me uh, bring it back up here to a chat screen. Uh, once again, everybody, thank you for being here. If you are on Twitch, stand, uh, stick around. We are going to send a raid out to some friends here right away. Uh, if you're on YouTube here, please make sure you hit the like, the subscribe button. All that great stuff as we uh, are trying to grow this channel each and every day. We are going to be, be uh, for those that are watching on YouTube, we do uh, have these go up every Friday and Tuesday, following our recordings here every Wednesday and Saturday on Twitch. 
Uh, if you want to join us, come check out some AW Dynamite on our uh, weekly sidecast. And then uh, right after that, we get right into the WWE 2K24 every week. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here tonight. I always truly appreciate it. And always remember, be part of the solution. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.